morning guys welcome to my studio um i know we've all been cooped up quite a bit lately and i'm the same way and my family's the same way and but you know even though it's been kind of difficult to stay inside all the time and and to just stay home all the time i've noticed that there's some beautiful things even in the mess of all this and i've been able to play with my girls a little bit more draw a little bit more, do some things that haven't, I haven't gotten to do in quite a while. And so there's some beautiful things to find in the mess if you look hard enough. So, but today I would love to show you guys my new book that I illustrated and it was written by a cool guy named Chris Barton. And um, he wrote a book another book about 10 years ago called Shark Versus Train. And this is kind of the companion or the sequel to that. And I was lucky enough to get to illustrate it. So it was a lot of fun. And I had to draw a fire truck and a dragon for this book. Now, the dragon was not so difficult. I That, was, that came kind of easier to me. But when I thought I knew how to draw a fire truck and I tried it. It was, you know, and I'm an artist. I'm supposed to be a professional artist here now. And um, my fire trucks kind of just looked like, I don't know, garbage trucks, semi trucks. I mean, anything but a fire truck, even though I thought I knew in my head what a fire truck looked like, looked like. And, um, I even had to get my brother-in-law, John, to come over and talk to me. He was, he used to be a firefighter. So we got on, you know, the internet and we Googled different kinds of fire trucks. And he showed me a lot of things that I didn't know before, like what all the hookups are, where the hoses are stored and things like that. And I also learned that there's barely any fire trucks that look exactly the same. They're very customized for the areas that they serve. So your fire trucks in your area may, um, they have certain, you have certain needs in your community and those fire trucks serve those needs. And in another area, say a more, a, a more like urban area, like a city, the fire trucks have to get around tight corners. They have to be able to move, you know, they have a hinge in the middle. There's all kinds of different customizations that fire trucks have. So it was hard for me to find like a standard or a symbolic fire truck to model my drawings after. So when I finally, I learned that there was um, a ladder truck, there's a tank truck, there's something that does a little bit of everything called a quint. And um, so I kind of modeled fire truck, the character after a quint. So it has a ladder, it has a hose, it has some water inside. So that's kind of what I did. Um, let's see. Now, drawing a fire truck definitely took some practice, even for me, a lot of practice. But once I was able to, um, to draw it um, confidently, I was able to put the fire truck into different positions. Now this book just came out. Fire truck versus dragon just came out in March on March 10th. So it just hit the world, but see I was able to make like a silly fire truck face. And let's just flip through and see a few things I might have done. Let's see. We have camping. Hold on, I've got some examples I want to show you. Well, hold on. Oh yeah, a fire truck going down a water slide. That's something you don't see every day. A fire truck snuggling with a blanket. That, I'm extra proud of that one actually. And I like how cozy his little tires are. Let's see, and even on the, the last, at the very back here on the 
cover, we have a another snuggly fire truck camping under the stars, and I just love his little cozy wheels. So, <laughs> if you practice enough and you get to know how to draw your character enough, you'll be able to draw them in different poses. So, I would like to challenge you to draw a fire truck with me, and my daughter's gonna help. Harvey's here, she's nine years old. So she's gonna help me kind of slow down and make sure that you get all the steps in. So check it out, Fire Truck versus Dragon. Hope you enjoy that, but I'm gonna now show you how to draw a fire truck from this book. Now on my website and on stimolalive.com, I think we've linked to this also, these are the steps broken down um, into seven different steps. And it's, I'm not gonna tell you that this is super easy because it, it is a lot of little details. It's not hard, but you just have to slow down and get all the details because that's what a fire truck is. It's just, it's got lots of little hookups and knobs and windows and lights, sirens, ladders, just a lot of little things. So here we go. So you can practice afterwards with this and get better and better. Now, we are definitely gonna make a few mistakes today, so don't worry about that if you do too. That's totally normal. And we're just using pencils, and we have an eraser. Harvey Jane, give us a thumbs up. Harvey, no thumbs up. She's not gonna do it for me. Excellent. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna start with step one here, we're gonna make this box shape. So to draw a fire truck, let's start with a vertical line. I'm very bad at drawing rocks. I'm drawing straight lines. But again, it doesn't matter. We're just having fun. And I hope that you'll do it again and get better and better. Okay, and now we're going to take two lines come out this direction and close it off. Mm -hmm. Is that in enough? Yeah. That's not. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. It's totally fine because because even when when I put a fire truck in different poses you know, I might have had this not be so straight, but I might have curved it instead to make it, you know? So it can it can really be anything. As long as the basic shape is there, you're good. Okay, so now we're gonna come out from here and we're gonna make a square. It can kind of taper and kind of go in a little bit because it is going away from you, but it's mostly a square. Yes, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. I'm going to move it over here so people can see. Yeah, there you go. Harvey has a lot of hair. So, <laughs> <laughs> might be covering it up a little bit. Um, all right, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to make some half ovals here at the bottom. This is where our wheels are going to go. Mine's not the right shape. It, it's fine. Mm -hmm. You said you're doing a great job. Go with it. Okay, but I just need mine to be a little bit more straight so I can get the wheels curved up. Eh. Harvey, you're being yes. too perfect. You oh. need to just have fun with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And now, now we're gonna take the lines out from here. So now it's more like a, it's like its own shape now. I just need to make it less, like 
huge put it right inside there we go have time to get some coffee and I have time to get some more <laughs> juice no you don't have time yes I do <laughs> all the time in the world <coughs> <clears throat> okay all right now erase that line right there Awesome. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on this area. So let's draw a line down the center. Horizontally. <laughs> it's been kind of cool, all these um, Stimola Live... Um, artists and authors we're gonna put another horizontal line at the top we're making the window here so we're just gonna frame it out and connect those but it's been really cool because um, I've been able to connect or kind of see inside the studios or and, and hear the voices of some of the artist friends I have that um, otherwise I don't get to see in person. So it's been kind of cool to get to hear their, that's some of the beauty in this mess that we probably wouldn't have done this otherwise unless we were all quarantined in like this. And so yes. I've enjoyed that. I'm just guessing. <laughs> don't stress, this is definitely not supposed to be stressful okay so we have this we have this rectangle so let's add another rectangle <laughs> below it mm. where it kind of is like in a frame inside of the box so we see all the lines <laughs> you can draw lighter than me I'm trying to draw with really sure lines just so you can see okay. But you can draw lighter. Okay. And then you won't have to commit to those lines till you're sure. Yes. Okay. So I'm trying to get in the whole box. <laughs> okay, oh, that's small. Are you? Yes. I'm gonna need you to go with it. <laughs> Erasing so much. Whoa. Just remember that mm -hmm. the other our friends out there that are trying this, we you're you're their example of a kid. So if you're okay with a little line out of place, they're gonna be okay with a little line out of place. No pressure. <laughs> oh, it's not a line. It's fine. Totally fine. Okay, very good. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to divide that top window. So two lines kind of close to each other will make a thick line. Wow, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Most fire trucks have, sometimes they have just one long windshield, but a lot of them that I've seen around here anyway have... Um, it looks fine. It can be wide. It, it doesn't have to be thin like mine. Okay, just not as wide. But two <laughs> panels is usually what I've been seeing. Next time you see a fire truck, stop and kind of notice it more. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to divide this bottom rectangle into three sections. Just like that, with just two straight down lines. No, I just start going. Start going. Okay. Because I like my eyes dark. <laughs> I just have three pieces? Yep. Just two vertical lines. We'll divide it into three pieces. If it's not perfectly equal, don't even sweat it. Okay, and now we're going to work on this little rectangle and this little rectangle, and we're going to do a small line to divide that, both of those, 
into another small rectangle at the bottom. Very good. And then we're going to divide that, that into three pieces. Into three. So you have one, two, three. Same thing on the other side. Don't worry if all your lines aren't straight. Don't even no, sweat it. if it's not the straight part, I just need it to be a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not erasing. I should have banned the er I'm going to take that eraser away from ah! you. <laughs> I need my eraser. Oh, okay. Okay. The next thing is we are going to make the rear view mirrors. And it kind of serves as almost like ears for our fire truck <laughs> character. What? So you can make an un imperfect rectangle on this side and another imperfect rectangle on this side, and you just connect them. I have to do this part? Yes. Ah. And you connect them with little lines like this, and that's how it connects to the fire truck. Did I do that too fast? Yes. Yes, you did it way too fast. Well, it doesn't have any perfection here. You just make sort of a round corner rectangle yeah. on both sides. So this part's going to be the face and this is the side of our fire truck. That's really good. I'm very impressed, Harvey. Looks nice. Awesome. Okay, you know it looks perfect. It'll look um, a little more correct as we get the face on there. Right now they're kind of sticking out. Okay, and now let's put the 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 siren lights. I don't know what you call them exactly on the top. So they're just you add a re rectangle there and a rectangle there to the very top. And again, just like we did down here, let's divide that into three parts. Hmm. And to make it look 3D, I just take this from this corner, I just go down like that. So in, on, in our drawing, we are seeing the fire truck. We can't see the top, we can't see the bottom, but we can see the corner, the face, in the right hand side of his body. Okay, and also on top, there's just so many lights and different, like there's orange lights, there's red lights, there's white lights. So I just put three little half circles on the top. Why? Just to be three more lights. <laughs> <laughs> but why? I don't know. Why do we need three more lights? It, it just looks bare there, so I put that there the character okay don't question me <laughs> <laughs> I'll question you as much as I want oh boy yes all right so next do you want to put the ladder on there or the wheels the wheels go in the middle. okay the down. wheels oh, now the, the wheels you can practice to the side making an oval like that okay that's an oval it's different than a circle so yes, here I Underneath the wheel spot that we have cut out, I'm just going to put an oval that's kind of right in there. It doesn't have to be exactly where mine is. Oh, goodness. That is, that yes. Is, yes. Mm. Just fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Kids. It's not good enough. Okay. I'll fix it later. Later. Oh. No, it looks it great. way smaller. I can't do that. It's way oh small. my goodness. It's too small. I'm sorry, but I can't deal with that. <laughs> I'm a neat. I would think withdrawing. I'm a neat freak. <laughs> You're a freak, all right. Yes. <laughs> it's not straight. Okay, so over here. Let's put, like right under here, we're going to put another oval. That is going to be 
our um, wheel kind of poking out from the other side. Perfect. And it's fine. It's No, that's actually more realistic where you've put yours. Okay. So we've got our little uh, wheel spots. And now we're going to put a half circle right here. Don't do anything to that third wheel over there. I know, because it's facing right. the other side. Now here, we're going to put little bolts. So they're just little circles. I usually put about three. This is how that gigantic wheel, if you've ever seen a fire truck wheel, it's so massive, and it needs these huge bolts to keep it onto the truck. Okay, so that's the inside of the wheel. Now let's take a line from the oval. Yeah. Now the back wheels, what I've usually seen is there's two wheels together. So it's like a double wheel. So to go a little bit deeper with that. Yeah, there you go. And I, sometimes I like to put a line there in between to symbolize that there's two different wheels there. Like that? Exactly. Perfect. Just make them actually round. Yes, you can make them rounder than mine. <laughs> so let's try it again on this one. So we just kind of take a line straight out. Now, the front wheels are single. Mm. So don't make that one a double. Mm. That's, that's great. Curved. Yeah, that's great. No, that's great. And then no, this okay. third wheel here, all we have to do is do a, this one's different. We're looking at it a little bit differently. So let's put a straight line there and we're gonna follow that curve. There we go, perfect. Fun, fun. Okay, the next, is, the next thing we're gonna do is, okay, let's divide our truck. So on the side of the truck here, Right here, Harvey Jane, you gotta pay attention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right here. Mm -hmm. Let's draw, that's where our line's gonna go up to the top. And then again, we're gonna go up right there. So and we've divided the side of our truck. Mm. Mm. It's not really that straight if you measure if you put a ruler on it, mine wouldn't be straight. Okay, now we've divided the side into three. Now on a fire truck, there's usually a panel here that kind of dips into the truck. It like sets into it like a like a little shelf. So we're gonna show that by drawing a line here, like a diagonal line. That only it's a short one. And then we're going to go straight. I'm going to do mine up first. And then, okay, see how that kind of looks like if you, if you think about it, going into the truck. Very good. You want to go ahead and add some hookups in there? Because, mm -hmm. mm. and this is where all the hookups are, all the buttons, all the, so let's put three ovals. This oval right here is covered a little bit, so I'm just going to do like a half circle and then another one here. Mine's not covered, is that okay? That's okay if it's not. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of room. You have more room than I do. <coughs> and then put an o ovals in between there. That's where the hoses hook up and they would connect like there and they might also connect to a fire hydrant outside so you would have um, an unlimited water supply to put out a fire if you needed to because a truck only carries a little bit of water so you might need more than what the truck holds and then let's put a line here and that's like a shelf and on that shelf I'm gonna put a bunch of little uh, ovals that's the hose stacked up Firefighters need different sizes of hoses, different, I think, different water pressures. I might be making that up. 
<laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, so, but they definitely store different sizes of hoses. Maybe different lengths. Maybe they only need like a, you know, 500 foot hose for this, but they need a... 8,000. <laughs> maybe so, yeah. Okay, so that looks cool. I like that. So now let's add the ladder. Now, most fire trucks, the ladder isn't really sitting on the fire truck like I'm going to draw it. I'm drawing it more for a symbol. Most real fire trucks now, they, the ladders like retract and extend, but ours, all we gotta do is just draw a line kind of like that with some lines down. And it just gives us the symbol really, because this is a make-believe fire truck character. Fire trucks don't really have faces or feelings. <laughs> But mine does, and I can thicken up that line if I wanted to. These lines make it look a little more. Sure, I can make a line on the bottom if I wanted to. Harvey Jane did, so I like that. I'm gonna do it too. I can color in. Mine's so it's fine. Yeah. There we go. So we have a ladder on top of our truck now. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I love it, love it, love it. Okay. So See how yours is all straight? Mine's not straight, and that's okay. You know? It works. Because <laughs> it's a make-believe character. And characters move, so we can just chalk it up to he was moving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so over here, let's finish off this panel over here. We're gonna put a little door. Maybe they keep um, masks in there, oxygen tanks, who knows? Blankets for people who have gotten out of a burning building and they need to, yeah. But they would be hot if they just got burnt. All right, Why would they all need right. a blanket? All right. Hmm. Okay, so here, let's divide this down again. Seriously? Yeah. Wait, where? I just, can't do that. Well, look, I'm you can just big. make it go in the middle of your mirror. Okay. That's fine. And those are two different doors. So let's put a window because the firemen have to get inside the... I can't put a window. You can't put a window? No. Okay. I can't put a window. You don't have to. But let's at least put um, some handles. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Go with it. Well, please. <laughs> please! <laughs> <coughs> oh, boy. I wasn't the one who, told, who committed to having kids, okay? Oh, my goodness. So. Well. Ah! It's why? Fine. It's fine. Are you sure it goes on the opposite? It goes the opposite way? Mm, I'm not sure about that. I'm not going to do it the opposite Yeah, way. it probably doesn't. You're probably correct on that one. I'll go with you. Okay. Yep. I think you're right. Okay, so on our windows, let's make them look not like windows by just putting some, like, shine streaks in there. So we have two windows on the front of the fire truck. We have one or nope. two on the side. We have two. Well, you didn't want a window. I, I, I can't have a window. Then, okay, fine. okay. That's fine. Her fire truck, she doesn't want a side window. Oh, windows, so put some little shiny marks on your windshield. Yeah, they can go either direction. They don't have to go. But they need to go the <laughs> same direction. So whichever direction you pick, go with that one. All right, now it's the fun part. We get to do the face. That's... All right, mm -hmm. so let's make the nose, which is kind of the siren. We're going to draw another oval. I need to see. I need to see. Ow. <laughs> so an oval look like over there? Yeah, it's a little to the right because we need some room. 
and draw another circle inside of it. Well, my example actually doesn't have that inside circle. Oh. So you don't have to do that. <laughs> but do like speakers, because it's a siren, put little circles in there, like the holes of a speaker, so the sound can come out of it. Cool. And then let's put some lines this way. We're going to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. Good. And then we're going to follow that curve. Good. Mm. And then let's put the, the wire that connects it. It goes all the way to the bottom. Very good, Harvey Jane. Okay, now where would you like our fire truck to look? To the left, to the right, because we're gonna do the eyes next. To the left, I don't know why, it just feels correct. Okay, look to the left. Yes. So, we can put little half circles in these boxes here, and we can color them in. And mat like magic. We have a character fire truck looking to the left. Magic. <laughs> Sorry about my hair. It's <laughs> getting in the way. But there's beauty in the mess. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Okay. And right in here, a uh, fire truck usually has this grill or grate or whatever. So I just put little horizontal lines all the way down to symbolize this grill that it has on the front. It gives a little cool mm. detail. Mm. All right, do you want to do the eyebrows or the mouth next? Oh, I'm not done. All right. Y'all be here all day. <laughs> Very good. There we go. Okay. Finally done. <laughs> that is looking awesome. I mean, really good. I love it. Okay. Mouth or eyebrows? Eyebrows because the mouth. Mouth stuff? Yes. Okay. Now the cool thing, the thing that made perfect eyebrows on this fire truck were the windshield wipers. wipers. <laughs> so, windshield wipers, I just make two dark lines and so, I can make a different expression. So... If I wanted it to be mad, I could do it in, you know, like, like that. If I wanted to, that's how I made different expressions because eyebrows say a lot. So it was the perfect tool for this, for giving this character emotions. That yes, that's awesome. It's pretty, it's not great, but. <laughs> All right, now. It's fine. We are, now usually windshield wipers just stay up on the windshield, but. Because ours is make believe and a character, a fiction character at that, we bring him down a little bit to serve his eyebrows. Very good. Okay, so now let's do the mouth. Now the mouth is the bumper of the fire truck. Let me show you this. See how the, sure everyone got that. the bumper is here. You know, cool. All right. So if we want to make it smile, we might. You just you're gonna draw over your stuff. And it's just kind of like a bumper is a big rectangle, but to make it smile, you have to bend it. Or to frown, you have to bend it like a frown. I can even color in this spot. Then you've got sort of like a the inside of the mouth. And I can take an eraser and erase. It's not going to totally get rid of all the lines, but 
it does the job. In a, when I'm making drawings for a book, I can really, I have to go into the computer and really get rid of the ghost lines from your pen, from the pencil. Mm. That is so cute. And then to also add to, yep, we got to add little lights on the step ahead. On the butt, on the bumper. Yep. Yes. So cute. Okay. What is next? We have done so much. Let's um, see. If you want to add just a little. No. Let's add a number. A lot of fire trucks and fire stations have numbers. So this one, I put a number three and just a little tidbit to know. I put a number three because this is my third book that I've ever illustrated or ever worked on at all. So I put a three and I'm gonna put put it in an oval. If we, we, we see it as an oval, it's really a circle with a three in it. If we were seeing it from the perfectly on the side, but because it's turned a little bit and we're not seeing it. Uh, is mine okay? Yours is fine. Do mine it's oval. fine. It's fine. Okay. Rochelle. What's Rochelle. next? So I think we only have the hose left. Really? That's it. Yeah. What, what's that on there? Well, this is a sh oh the little okay. There is a little ladder on the back. See, there's so many details to remember. Yeah, but like way like right. Later. Yeah, like a, it's just lights. We can add little <laughs> circles for extra lights. Yay, you definitely need those. There might be a few extra lights in some of the fire truck drawings that aren't in every drawing on the in the book. <laughs> You'll have to Yeah, so there's a little ladder on the back. Again, I apologize if my hair is blocking this. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> and how about a shadow, actually, because mm. And it's just a little scribble. I just, I like to do shadows. It's I'm just not going to do scribble. my shadow yet. Cause okay. Can, can I, like, please just try and make that more of a circle? Later. Let's Later. finish up. Yeah, let's finish up this drawing so everybody can go do their thing. I'm fine. All right, so there's a shadow. And the last thing, if we want to add a hose, so I'm just going to darken up this line. But the hose is a fun part. It can go any which of way we want. So it might come out, maybe it's hooked up to the, the other side that we can't see. And I'm just gonna make a squiggly hose. Maybe it comes out like that. And at the end of it, I might put a little rectangle to be like the nozzle and a little... Yeah. And I can have some water coming out of it. Maybe making a puddle. Uh. Oh yeah, Harvey, Harvey's got her spraying water. Maybe he's spraying water on a friend. Who knows? Very fun. And if you made it all the way through this video, you probably have a fire truck drawn. That's awesome. Probably. Just probably. <laughs> and if you don't, you, sh you can try again because we've actually, both of us have already practiced this once. And I still can't get the So let's sign it, Harvey Jane. Harvey. <sighs> and that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and it'll be recorded so you can watch it again. And these steps are on my website at Shanda. S H A N D A M C dot com. And there's also steps to draw the dragon on there. So you can print those off if you have a printer at home and try that too. So it's fun to break down the steps. 
There's also coloring sheets on there. All right, so okay. way to go guys. And I will see you next time. Thanks for coming today.